What's up guys and welcome back to another channel. It has actually been such a long time to actually record. I've actually not made a video like nearly a month. Today will be kind of different to what I normally do. Basically some people might know and some people might not know what's actually happened to me recently. So today I'm pretty much going to tell you like a story or pretty much what's actually just happened. So in this video I don't really want to get sympathy or that stuff. I'm literally just going to tell you what happened just in case if people are wondering what's where did I go what happened because I haven't been posting on YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, so. But just to make sure, I will say gory stuff, I will go in debt, there will be pictures. Pretty much like the end of last month, let's say like between the 20th, my stomach was literally killing. Stomach was like getting worse and worse. It was like that for like a week and a half. And it got to a point where it would just got, I couldn't work out within three minutes of the circuit that I made. Yeah. Game over. I went later on that day, I think it was like on the 27th of last month. I went to go out at La Rooster and you know that I love La Rooster because their pizza's just the bomb. And on that day, I literally could not even have it. So we decided to go to Crawley Hospital about 10 o'clock at night on that day. And we were like waited like for four hours. Four hours! Just for them to tell us, yeah, you need to get that checked out. You need to go to another hospital. Why? Why tell me this now? Then we went to another hospital, East Surrey's. And we waited from like half one to like four. And they're like, yeah, basically, your appendix is fucked. I was like, what? How? How? Yeah, apparently, like my appendix was like completely like rotten, dead, inflamed, like literally, caputo. So I stayed overnight, or overnight, half four until like 10 in the morning, got ready, had a surgery. They said they were gonna take about 40 minutes surgery. Yeah, that didn't happen as well. That took two and a half hours. Pretty much, apparently, they, they took the appendix out. It was meant to be a key surgery, but no. It didn't turn out, actually, I had to get stitches at the end. There was like nine staples at the end. After two and a half hours later, got the appendix out, and I was still in pain, like really bad. So I stayed overnight. There's one guy constantly snoring so much. It was that loud, the guy next to me was like saying shush or something like that. It was like, it was stupid loud. I was actually discharged a day later my surgery and I was still in pain. I was relieved that I was gonna go home but I was thinking why am I getting discharged when I just had the surgery and that I'm still in pain. So which kind of made no sense. The next day, woke up, literally vomited. I was like, oh crap, because I where I vomited, <laughs> it was funny because when I was vomiting, I was holding it like that. So I was literally trying to keep everything there while falling up what instead of hitting the floor. Yeah. And it just like, it just kept going on the floor constantly. It was, the weird thing, it was like brown, black, and that's not over exaggeration, it was that colour. That was like, it was very weird. So I like threw up three times and I was like to my girlfriend, I'm sorry. And she said, don't say sorry. I'm like, no, I'm saying sorry because I, I throw it and it hit your bag. I was like, ah! So I was like, crap, and it was a new bag as well, but luckily it didn't go inside her bag, it only hit the side of it. Apparently it still does stink. I cannot smell this, but she's saying it smells bad, but. It doesn't affect me. So later on that day, went back to hospital. I was sweating my ass off because it was that hot that day. Eventually they saw me and they were like, yeah, it was a failed discharge. Thank you hospital. Apparently that I still had information in my actual appendix where it was and it was like still pus everywhere. Guess what? I had another surgery again. This time they just cut a little bit more. So now I had 11 staples. So after the surgery, I was like, thing they took me back to the warden and after I was like, I woke up. And I woke up with like four tubes. I woke up with ones where the appendix were, one just below my belly button, one that was going through my nose. I literally thought this little thing that was on my nose was only going for like going here because it literally kept tickling my back of my throat. I found that it wasn't up there, it was literally just all the way down to my stomach. I was like, what? It was literally that big. And the other one, the one that I didn't actually realize until a day later, I actually had a tube. Get ready, literally had one where a guy doesn't want to have it in. I was like, what? Every time I get moving, oh my God, it was so painful. Just the thought that someone put that inside me without me realizing until a day later, it stayed there for like, I think I had all this for like five days. But during that five days, there was one night, I remember this and I told all my friends, it was so funny, but creepy at the same time, because it was like an old lady. I think she, there was something wrong with her. About one o'clock in the morning, she comes along out of nowhere, goes in my room, and she was like, who's that? And I was like, Ruben. And she was like, literally, walk right 
two feet away from my bed and I was like sleeping and she was like, can you hear those noises? And after I was like literally getting my hand reaching the bus and like the call button so I can get her out of my room to think, what are you doing? Get out of my room. So there was definitely something wrong with her because later on that night, she tried to run away. And they actually called the police twice on her. So I stayed in hospital for eight days. On the third day, they took one of the tubes out, which was on the appendix. I didn't know how far it was in, but that one was probably that much inside. And that kind of hurt. The fourth day, they took the tube out. On the fifth day, they took the one that I was hoping to take out for a very long time, the tube down below. Oh my day, the pain, I cannot explain. It was the worst pain ever. I didn't think the tube was that far inside. It literally goes to your bladder. So imagine that in your head. It was literally like that far in. How could a tube that probably this thick could go that far? Oh my God, the pain. I literally, I just can't explain it. I just don't want that pain ever again. It was so bad. And on the second to last day when I was actually in hospital, they took the other tube that was just below my belly button. Cause obviously they didn't want her to take it out and yank it out straight away. So I told her to take step by step. It was so far in that she was like, we was like saying, okay, take deep breaths. So when I take exhale out, she'll be taken out. It was that long, I had no air to push out. It was so bad. It was literally that much as well, there. And I was like, <sighs> felt something was ripping. But I'm just glad that I'm not in the hospital right anymore. I was at, I've actually been discharged since last Tuesday. It's the Saturday today, 17th. So I've nearly been here for two weeks now, nearly two weeks. I've been on soft diet. I actually cannot train or go to work for at least six weeks. So I've lost so much gains. Like in those seven, eight days, I've lost five kilos. So about 63, 64, something like that, to 59.5. This is what I looked like when I got home. I look so skinny. That's a massive difference. I look like I've never trained in my life. It's been now about two weeks now for my surgery, two and a half weeks of my surgery now. And this is what I look like now. I look, I look like I have no gains. I've got a belly now. Not because obviously I put on weight. I've only put on a kilo and a half. I'm just really bloated still. They say it was like within time it will go down, but who knows how long I'm gonna take. But this is what I actually look like now. So literally no gains whatsoever. Skinny as hell with a belly. As you can see there, that's my stitch. That was one of my actual tubes. A tube there, I had a key, oh, there's another tube here. A camera here, a camera there. I'm actually gonna hold this down because of, I've been sitting there for too long. Obviously the great thing is that actually I'm still alive. I know I'll be doing a video, obviously my three years transformation, even though I've lost everything. So it's been three years that I've actually been training. So I'll go through my things that I've learned and what I wish I learned a long time ago. The video after that, I'm not too sure because obviously I can't do no activities. I can't lift nothing that's more than five kilos. So I won't be able to go to the gym roughly by like mid July, like the end of July. So it's gonna be such a long time. This was a different video. Like, subscribe as always. And I would like to say thank you for all the new subscribers that actually subscribed. Hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be a lot more in the future once. I'm recovered. It's our fitness here. Enjoy your day.